Okay, I've got a, a do-it-yourself project for all you pickup truck drivers. Uh, this little box here, made in 1988 for a Dakota. It's now uh, fitting in a Ford. Uh, this is 2020, so this is um, 38, 32 years. Difference all of this box. It's one of the most critical things I've had. It really makes having a pickup truck usable for everybody. Uh, there's a cavity in the back of the truck that basically goes unused for the most part. But if you make this box, this is, adds so much space, usable space to what you can carry, where you can carry it, and it makes it really easy, secure, hard luck, and it's like this, you want to fill this space behind the tires, and measure your space by yourself, up with the benches. And then uh, when you're done, get some pine wood. This is pine. It's very light. You saw me hold it with one arm. And uh, yeah. some metal work, hinges, two hinges. Uh, the real trick and this is, well, you got a center space. It's a handle. Ah. You can lift the whole truck back box with one hand. That's a, a good thing to have in there. I haven't regretted it. I haven't played that many long items. A couple of coats of paint over the years. Now oh, here's uh, some of the fun features. The top is made of uh, aluminum siding. Just uh, it keeps the weather out, and it keeps the uh, top from degrading. The, the hinges are sitting with some bolts. There's some gap in the bottom, so if it gets wet, any water can run out. That's nice. Uh, the center handle is uh, useful for the picking it up. And also, I put some holes in there for tying things down. Uh, and I'll show you in a minute. So you got a, a half gallon of milk. Well, there's a container about the size of a half gallon of milk. Keeps it cold and from spilling. And then uh, some rope goes in this uh, hole and, and then the handle. So it keeps it secure. Uh, the uh, the top I made of plywood, 3 8 plywood, and then uh, wrapped some aluminum siding on the end, and then put some screws in it every so often, in the top too, and uh, that, that keeps the weather out. Now, um, under the siding on the top, I put some roofing tar so it's keeps the aluminum sticky and also keeps the uh, plywood from degrading it's pretty good for 32 years sitting outside just fits in there you want to uh, remove it lift it out need some more space for the back the truck. One of the other 
things to think about is you want to keep it out of the water. So I got this two by three under it and it keeps it a little bit off of the water. So if water does build up in the bed, it uh, keeps the bottom of the box dry. Your screws should go in this way into the uh, bottom. Uh, that gives extra strength for lifting it, holding it right. So you're not depending, if you go in this way, you're depending on the, the screws, threads, holding the, um, the bottom in place. This way, in the side, you're going to use the entire screw body as, uh, as something to hold the, um, the bottom in place. That's, that's it. The, um, the benches are going to be depending on your truck bed. Now this was made for a Dakota, 88 Dakota two years ago, a few years ago, and the Ford was two inches shorter, so I had to cut two inches off. But it still works, it balances pretty well, even with uh, the two inches removed from one side. Now, what, the, what happens is, say you got a lot of groceries, you don't want them in the, in the inside the cab, you just reach over, lift the box, put them in, close them up, and that is so convenient. Why more people don't have one of these, I don't know. But it's a simple project, costs oh, maybe $20, maybe $30, if you have to buy the hinges, screws, But um, you just don't need to have your groceries roll around in the back of the bed because you have two people or three people sitting in the cab. This is the best thing for your groceries or anything you carry. Tools, luggage, furniture, anything small that uh, can fit in there. That is pretty cool. Got the back of the, uh, the box. Uh, it's showing a little age, but I'll let the next owner take care of that. I'm selling the truck, and this is the last time I'll probably be making a video on this. I have applied for Quirky product for others, and it just didn't take off at Quirky, so it's still a do it yourself. El Cheapo way to handle a, a problem and you, know, you can make it fancy as you want but uh, try to make it out of nice light pine any heavier wood would be a, a detriment for your ability to pick it up oh there's one other thing I like to say now if there is an accident this will this will fly forward a little bit depending on how you drive but that is easily fixed with your tie downs in the back and a little rope and maybe a screw or a handle on the side of the box from there. That made my life a lot easier. Groceries, no, no, not getting anywhere on the inside the cab just put them in here it's just simply a reach over it's, it's not hard to access this anything you want to keep dry there you go
And you can see it's taken some wares and beatings. But I would think so. This is the nicest feature, is just being able to lift this up with one hand and walking it to any place you want to go to, to sit it down and uh, store this uh, for a while while you're doing some bigger jobs. That's, uh, that's a nice feature. Well, other than that, just uh, a pine wooden box. Oh. And the other thing I like is, while you're in your garage, you have something you want to sit down. Your benches are full. Oh, just sit it right here. Couldn't be easier. Well, that's the concept. How you implement it is your uh, responsibility. But I think it's a great do-it-yourself project. I did this in a, well, maybe two hours, start to finish. And I think everybody should have one of these. Now, if your truck bed doesn't have uh, these wheel wells sticking up, well, that, that's a problem. You'll have to deal with that. But uh, for this type of bed, Uh, something to ponder for you do-it-yourselfers try to make this uh, yourself if you don't like it you got a foot locker for your kids well, not a problem well like it if like it on the uh, YouTube Pickup trucks are really awesome. These um, and these things make things a lot easier. So give it a shot and stay tuned for more do-it-yourself projects.